was no Christmas goodwill towards men in Cyprus. And when British troops arrived, the Greek and Turkish Cypriots were still very much up in arms. Ironically, both sides welcomed the soldiers, brothers in arms of many who had been killed in the troubled times before the island became independent. In Nicosia, the police station once again was barricaded. For some time, hatred between the Greek and Turkish elements had been building up. Under such conditions, it takes more than a treaty to preserve the peace. At this stage, the Turkish Cypriots were declaring that it would be impossible ever again to live in harmony with their Greek compatriots. While Commonwealth Relations Secretary Duncan Sands was conferring with Archbishop Makarios and then with Vice President Kuchuk, leader of the Turkish minority, the locally armed Cypriot military vehicles stood by to quell minor infringements of the ceasefire. Before long, a London conference will seek an end to this explosive condition in Cyprus.